everyone, I am Savannah from Hay Wanderer and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our DIY Boho Backyard Oasis. We've been working on this backyard since we moved into this house about three years ago and I wouldn't say we're completely finished. We always have new project ideas on the horizon and we still have a few things that we would like to be better but I think three years is a long enough wait so we're just going to show you how it is right now. So when you walk out the door in our kitchen, you are right on the deck and straight forward you can see we have these garden beds with a lot of colorful flowers in them. These garden beds actually were not a DIY. We had someone else make them, but they could have been a DIY. They're very simple. However, we do not have a tutorial for them, but we did paint them white this year. Last year they were just wood and we were actually planning on stenciling a pattern onto them but we kind of ran out of time and we were getting a little burnt out on outdoor projects at the beginning of the summer so we'll probably do this tutorial next summer so make sure you come back to see that but as you can see there's just a lot of beautiful colorful different things going on in here and this is one of our favorite spots in the backyard because it is so colorful and at any moment there could be a variety of bees and butterflies and hummingbirds flying around and it's such a cool little nature thing that's happening right in our backyard Next we have the pergola area. This pergola was built by Casey's stepdad and myself. And it's actually just a really simple pergola. We did not do a tutorial on it. We did put white painted bamboo on the top of it instead of going with the traditional wood slats that go across. We wanted it to have a more Tulum vibe, if you will. This coffee table was also a DIY that I didn't do a post about, again, kicking myself but it was a DIY and of course it was made out of necessity, which is what most of our DIYs come from. The couch was actually a DIY, but I did not do a post about it because we weren't really posting these kinds of things on our blog yet. These peacock chairs we got at a store's yard sale and we painted them white and made some cushions that match the couch. These macrame swings are DIY and I made them last year, but I just put the tutorial up a couple weeks ago. So you can look at the video on YouTube to see exactly how those were made. This disco ball was actually bought specifically for a backyard. It used to hang in the trees, but now it hangs under the pergola and we just love it. And the sun shines on it and that creates the really pretty sparkles that a disco ball does all over this area. We also have these hammock chairs that are such a comfortable spot to sit in this backyard. They kind of enclose your whole body into them, but like you're in a cocoon, it's really cool. And they're actually really affordable. I'll definitely link those in the description box below. So as we walk to the right and off of the deck, we end up on our concrete which is the stock tank pool area and as you can see this is a painted concrete this took us a really long time but i think that it was worth it and we really love the results if you would like to see this diy there is a video on our youtube you can look at it right here and this is our stock tank pool our DIY stock tank pool video is our biggest YouTube video to date. We created this video because there was nothing out there like it and we really wanted to have a filter attached to our stock tank pool so it could clean the water. And we just couldn't figure out how to do that from anything on the internet so we made this video and we're so glad we did. This year we actually whitewashed the bench because it was looking a little dingy. It was bare wood but it had been weathered by the weather and it just didn't look right with our pink tile painted concrete floors. Another thing we did this year was we painted the inside of the pool and you can go look at that DIY right here. And it's really important to know that it's actually not paint. It's very important if you paint the inside of your stock tank pool it will chip. 
so check out our tutorial to see exactly how you can do it. This made our pool look a lot nicer and every time someone sees it, they think it looks more like a pool than it did when it was just the bare metal. So we did buy these chairs, but we actually painted them because they were really ugly gray and black colors that were not our aesthetic. This is a DIY on our blog. It is not a YouTube video, but I will link it in the description box so you can see how we did that. Here, there's a little step down on our deck and you come to the conversation pit. This was built by Casey's stepdad. Actually, the whole deck was built by him. He built the whole thing by himself when we first moved in and the reason for this giant 1300 square foot deck is that there is a really, really ugly piece of asphalt underneath here and it was a really weird space. So this was the solution to make it look more homey and feel more connected to the grassy area. So the conversation pit is such a fun spot. Our fire pit is powered by gas, so we can just light that up whenever we want to. This fits a really good amount of people. This area was inspired by Mad Men, actually. One of their apartments, they had the conversation pit that was built into the ground, and we actually wanted that originally, something that was further in the ground, but our deck is not high enough up off of the ground for that to happen, so the seats are on top of the deck, but it does drop down in the deck a little bit. So it kind of still provides a little bit of a Mad Men vibe. Maybe more like Mad Men meets Tulum. So Casey stepdad actually also built us this really long table. There was this weird space behind the conversation pit and we really wanted to be able to entertain people outside. So this table will fit about 14 people, 16 if you include the chairs on the ends of the table. We've actually hosted a Thanksgiving dinner here two times. It's perfect for that, but we also use it when people just come over and maybe we're eating a meal while we're hanging out. The chandelier that's hanging over the table is actually a macrame plant hanger sort of thing that we found at a vintage store in the middle of nowhere. We scotch guarded it a couple of times and we hung it in this tree right over the table. In the very back corner of our deck, we have the bar, which is also something that Casey's stepdad built. And we love this area, it's so fun. We have these chairs that we got off of Amazon. I can link those for you, but they're perfect for the front of this. And then we also have the side that's open so you can make drinks and deliver them to people here who are standing. We also have a mini fridge back here and a few coolers so we can supply our party guests with drinks. We will also use this as a bar for food so people can serve themselves. The white bamboo fence along the back wall is actually a DIY we also did in a video. And it's actually really simple, but we went ahead and did a video anyway so people can see how we did it. You can check that out here. Right here we have the plant hospital. This is where all our plants go when they aren't doing so hot inside or outside. We just kind of put them over here and they actually fix themselves. Right next to the bar are doors to our studio. I love to open those when it's really nice outside and just have the air flowing in from back here. We also have these globe lights hanging all over the backyard because it makes it very magical back here when they're on. If I could recommend one thing for people to do to make their backyard a little more ambient, it would be to put these lights up somewhere in your backyard, preferably overhead. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of our backyard. We have put a lot of effort, heart and soul, blood, sweat, tears, all of these things into this backyard and all the projects. And we're so grateful that everyone loves the results so much. So keep an eye out because new stuff is always coming. So if you like this video and wanna see more things like this, more of our backyard projects and indoor projects, please just subscribe below. We'd love to have you stick along for the journey.